Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about India successfully tested the new version of Crystal Maze 2 or ALBM or Air Launch Medium Range Ballistic Missile. The Crystal Maze 2 is an Israeli missile in origin. The Crystal Maze 2 is precision guided missile manufactured by the Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in Andamans and Nicobar. But India is determined to negotiate and allow this weapon to be locally manufactured in India as part of their broader Make in India initiative to locally manufacture weapons used by the country. The missile test was carried out by India's Strategic Forces Command, and the aircraft that was used was the Russian in origin but locally made in India, the Su-30 MKI. The new version of Crystal Mace 2 air launch ballistic missile has a range of around 250 kilometers. The missile has two types of warhead, one with a 340 kilogram with blast fragmentation warhead and the second with a 360 kilograms of penetrator warhead. The missile is designed to hit high value stationary and slow moving targets. It can also be used by the Indian Navy to protect the Indian waters and employ it against naval targets and use it as an air launch anti-ship ballistic missile. The Crystal Mace 2 is a versatile missile and it can be launched by different aircrafts as well, such as other fighter jets and bombers in the Indian Air Force. The new missile would definitely give India a more additional layer of option for possible response in case there were attack, especially against possible confrontation with Pakistan. Because, let's face it, whatever weapon Pakistan and India develop, the threat and possible confrontation with one another is the one of the biggest factor for the creation or the development of that certain weapon system. This gives the Indian Su-30 MKI fighter a missile that can be launched at the safety of Indian airspace and possibly hit targets within Pakistan territory without the fighter crossing into Pakistani airspace. Although, to be fair, Pakistan has also this kind of capability like the air-launched ROD-2 cruise missile. The Crystal Mace 2 is designed to hit the target on GPS-denied or heavily jammed environment. So how does the missile achieve this? Well, according to the published performance of the missile based on Indian reports, the missile has a very good accuracy on hitting its target. The missile is equipped with advanced guidance systems, infrared imaging, and TV guidance, which would greatly enhance its precision even on extended distances. The missile is equipped with terminal homing, and the operator can directly control the missile using inertial navigation system and data link or through the use of TV imaging infrared seeker, depending on which type of missile that was used. The great thing about this missile is that the aircraft that launched the missile doesn't have to stay in control and guide it all the way until it hits the target, leaving the aircraft possibly vulnerable. But it can leave after the launch and the control can be transferred to other platforms such as the command and control aircraft or the operation base control. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.